Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a video on how to find Lube's armor, all five pieces. So you'll find these in the river raids, which you start by going to Vong in your settlement. And here are the two locations where you will find armor items in the river Burpa. So some other guys have said that it's random. Well, it's not actually random. There's only two locations the Burapar Fortification, and the Port Lairge. So I am at the Burva Fortification. And when I open this chest, you have to check both chests, the big ones that take two people to open. And here I got Lug's Disguise, the cloak. However, you might get the helmet here. So there's always an item at this fortification, but it could be either the cloak or the helmet. At least that's what I found from comparing notes with other players. Now for the second item, you'll need to go to Port Laerge, and my Yams Viking actually found this chest before I did, so I came over here to help open it, and here is Lug's helmet. And again, you might find the cloak here but you should find either the cloak or the helmet. And those are the two pieces of armor you'll find in the river Burha, but to unlock the second river, the river Erif, where you'll find the other three pieces of Luke's armor, you'll need to find the river Clue that is here in Wicker Grove. So come to Wicker Grove to find the clue that's gonna unlock the next river. And I had a hard time finding this clue, so I'm showing you the path all the way from your longship to the room where you can pick up the clue. And if you don't see the room, if it's burned out or if the fort is abandoned, not only when you're looking for this clue, but any of the chests I found, if the fort is abandoned and you can't find the clue or the chest that you're looking for, you just need to go to another river, do some other river raids, and then come back and wait until that location that you're trying to raid is repopulated. So the items will respawn. So don't worry if you miss it the first time you raid, just wait until the raid is respawned at that location and you'll be able to get the clue or the chest that you're looking for. And don't worry if you don't have any cargo space in your ship because the armor items go directly into your inventory. So even if you don't have any cargo, you can still collect the gear and the clue. So right after you kill the snakes, look in this room just behind and on the table is where you find the clue that is going to unlock the second river, the river Erif. And I'll show you exactly where I am on the map. This is Wicker Grove on the river Burpa. And then talk to Vaughn to access the river Arif. And if you don't see this on your map, that's because you haven't collected the clue that I just showed. But once you do, you'll be able to access this map. And this is where you'll find the next three items, the bracers, the greaves, which are the pants, and the chest armor. Here I'm finding the bracers, and I found them at Ash League Fort. You should find one item here, and it could either be the bracers, the pants, or the chest at Ash League Fort. The next place where you'll find a gear piece is Killery Camp, which is where I'm at now. I'm using Throwing Axe Fury to take out these enemies. Throwing Axe Fury is one of my favorite abilities and I love using it on river raids against multiple targets. I'm gonna open this chest with my Yams Vikings and here is the chest armor. So I found the chest armor, the torso, here at Killery Camp. You could also find the bracers or the pants here. And then the third and final location where you'll get your last of the five 
items of Lug's armor set is Deryulra Fort. And here is where I found the greaves or the legs. And this completes the treasures of the river Erif and completes the full Lug's armor set. Again, this is Deri Ulra location. And here are the three locations all together on the map for River Arif. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay.